Okay, so um, it is. Hold on. We have a little guest spot for my dog here. Um, this is Zaire. Say hi, Zaire. Hi. Okay, so um, I've had this really bad toothache the last several days. I'll let the dog know. And um, I couldn't get in to see, started on Saturday, I couldn't get in to see the dentist until yesterday, Wednesday. And um, so I you know, went in and everything, they looked me over. Sure enough, abscess, root canal, right there. So <clears throat> they were giving me the gas, and uh, it got real bad right in the middle. So I had to stop, you know, thankfully they weren't drilling away or anything, but uh, <clears throat> I had to get up and I puked in the trash can. It was pretty bad. So um, I probably should have had somebody drive me home, <laughs> but uh, I went straight from the dental uh, office to the office because the tooth had hurt so bad on Tuesday that I'd stayed home. Monday was holiday, of course, and uh, I felt I, you know, had to show my face at the office. So I went in and I was like, "Look, I'm staying for an hour. Uh, that's it, and I'm going home." So um, I stayed for an hour. Uh, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half, I forget exactly. And I worked a deal for a client, made him twenty thousand dollars. It was great. <clears throat> I called him, I said, You need to come up here and sign those papers and you know, pick up your check, basically. And uh, so they were all happy. They're coming in tomorrow. Um But now it's like I guess maybe I wasn't taking antibiotics quickly enough or something, because now I've got like a sore throat, and I've got, I think i got a fever or a headache, or I've got this little cough, and I just feel generally crappy. So, that was it. <clears throat> but on um, Monday, by Monday, I had uh, picked up the, uh, the dentist had phoned in a prescription for some painkillers and antibiotics for me. So on Monday, I was all doped up, <clears throat> feeling pretty good, and a friend of mine and I went to the state fair. It was pretty awesome. I told her right off, I was like, look, no way am I getting on any kind of carousel or Ferris wheel or any of those little teacups that spin around or any sort of ride that you can disassemble, which at the State Fair is pretty much everything. Um, <clears throat> so uh, I had my traditional picture. I always like to go to the State Fair and get a picture of me with a corny dog and a beer. You know, I've done that for the last, I don't know, three or four years or something like that. So I thought that, that was lots of fun. <clears throat> um, I thought about taking my hand, at, you know, trying my hand at, at ring toss or, uh, you know, one of those deals where you throw a ball and you have to land it in a cup, and if you land it in a colored cup, you win a prize. And, you know, all those midway games were all just, you know, traps and whatnot. But it was kind of fun to stand there and watch, uh, watch uh, you know, people have fun and everything. So uh, we wandered around for the fair. Uh, around around the fair for I don't know, let's say three hours, four hours, something like that. It was kind of fun. So you know, you can just do the fair for the experience and all, see the people, and, and then but there are just so many people in the being the holiday and everything. And I kind of get weirded out, like in, in just large, massive groups of people. It makes me all comfortable, and I just get irritable, and so. You know, towards the end, I wasn't really having a lot of fun and everything, but um, it was good. We tried, you know, there was nothing really, really healthy to eat at the state fair, so um, anything they had for, you know, food type things they had for sale was either fried, like double fried, sugar and then fried, uh, sugar fried and on a stick, or, you know, just, just pure nastiness. So I... I uh, indulged myself a little bit with the corny dog. You know, that's probably you know, not good. Uh, but then I finally found a place that sold corn on the cob. I was like, oh, corn on the cob, great. So I ordered the corn on the cob, and she immediately soaks it in, like, some sort of noxious, buttery, pig fat substance. And so I said, no, 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 I'll put it back. I just I just want the, co the corn. He kind of looks at me funny and everything. But I finally got the corn, so that was, I felt better. Uh, and then I had a uh, bowl of gumbo, seafood gumbo, which I think actually had some kind of meaty, beefy substance in there, you know. So, uh, <clears throat> but that was okay, too. So, um, that was fun, but I don't know. 
and then I went, I'm a little depressed because I went and, went and worked out today. <clears throat> and I have been going to, uh, uh, you know, personal training sessions, you know, where it's the trainer and you. That's, you know, really expensive. <laughs> and so I tried to cut back a little bit. And then instead of going, you know, to three PT sessions a week, I'll go twice and then go to a, a third where it's like a group thing, you know? So it's like you have a trainer, but you have a group of people, so it's less expensive. So I show up, and uh, there's like one set of people doing one sort of exercise, and there's me and this other guy uh, doing this other sort of exercise. And the other guy is like, um, uh, he's an athlete, okay? You know, it's like, you know, a firefighter and, you know, just really nice guy, but a general badass athletic type guy. So, and here I am, you know, still doped up, still feeling kind of shitty. Not, you know, I'm, you know, I'm not a huge fat ass, okay? But, you know, I'm not, you know, a firefighter type guy either. So, um, I, uh, you know, I just sucked away. You know, I did like he, 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 sorts of exercises that we were both doing. I did like half, you know, if, if he was 2X, I was X, okay? And uh, it still took me five minutes longer than him. So he finished in like 27 minutes doing 2x, and it took me 32 minutes doing x. So uh, I'm sort of depressed about that. But, um, oh well. Plus, like, the sickness has caused me to like, lose some weight. I've lost like three or four pounds, and I don't know, but whatever. So that's all about that. Um, oh, and my. I got a motorcycle part broke on it again, so you know the dealer, the dealer doesn't have uh, the part. The distributor doesn't have the part. So thankfully, <clears throat> I've got a Ukrainian roommate, and I'm gonna get him to call the factory. Hold on just a second. The dog's jumping on the laundry. Hey, house. Sorry, they know the word house. Um, and I'm gonna get him to call the factory, like you know, here in a couple of hours, because I think. Moscow or wherever this it's not a Moscow but it's like east of Moscow they're like I don't know 10 11 hours ahead of us and I'm just going to go call the factory and say hey I need this part okay uh, we tried to buy it or you know order it through their website they didn't respond and it's I don't know it's a big hassle so I thought well maybe if we call them you know call the other side of the planet to order this part then uh, it'll work out so I told myself I'd be in bed by 10, and that's 26 seconds from now, so uh, let me sign off here. Uh, I'll talk to you folks later. Don't forget to check, I, I do an occasional written blog too, don't forget to check that, my website, which is uh, web.mac.com slash justin.log, so it's web, it's not, you don't put the www in there, it's just http colon slash slash it's twenty web hours. dot mac dot com slash justin dot log. Alright? Talk to you folks later. Asta.